Hello everyone, this is Ivy with Create Your Future. I am a certified life coach. I specialize in personal development relationships and the law of attraction. And today I wanted to do a video that I think will be really inspiring for a lot of you. This a client of mine went from two years of absolute no communication to getting her SP to contact her and telling her how much he has missed her. But first, before we jump into that, I just want to remind you that I, I am available for one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions. Links are down below for that. And also wanted to also remind you that we're currently running a contest where as soon as we reach 100,000 subscribers, three lucky winners will be chosen and you will receive a session with the coach of your choice. Just comment below how the law of attraction or the law of assumption has worked out for you and how you've been able to manifest a lot of your desires, okay? So let's start off the story. My client and her SP um, were in a, a long-term relationship, committed relationship, and towards the end of the relationship, they realized that, well, she realized that she was um, reaching a point that she would usually reach in her past relationships where everything would just go south, where there was a lot of trust issues, where there was a lot of uh, reactions, where it was just a constant, you know, um, arguments, constant arguments. So she wasn't feeling so happy. So she real she was taking accountability that this was just something that she would always experience. So she decided to call off the relationship and put focus 100% on her to realize why is it that she was continuously repeating these patterns over and over and over. So when she did that, she went through a whole entire year of just working on herself and like staying away from relationships and just, you know, putting in work for herself, which is an amazing thing to do. Um, now, here's a quick note. It doesn't mean that you have to completely neglect your desire and just focus on yourself, you know? I think a focus on yourself should be a day-to-day -day thing that you, you should always do, but you could always multitask and do both. You know, you could actually have it persist on your desire and then persist on yourself and combine that and create even a bigger manifestation, okay? But this is her decision and it was it was good for her, okay, at the moment, you know? So she went about it and she was feeling great and she was feeling really good about herself. But then what she realized was that her SP was very persistent in her mind and she really couldn't like move on from thinking about him. So she was putting in the work and she was feeling really good and she was seeing a lot of success within her life, but there was still that part that she was resisting um, about forgetting her SP. So we fast forward to some uh, a year after that and she started to encounter videos of how to manifest specific people into your life. So she started to see a lot of videos and started to gather a lot of information and she started to get a lot of books um, to the point where, you know, she was doing tons of techniques. Um, like her entire life was technique after technique after technique. Um, so it was pretty much taking over her entire existence. So after doing an entire year of just focusing on herself, she then shifted that to being about you know, manifestation, consciously manifesting a specific person. So she got to a point where she felt completely burned out and she was just like, this is like way too much. And you know, the, the thought of like, I just wanna give up. I don't wanna to continue to do this. Yeah, I just don't understand why it's not working for me. So then she comes across a video of Create Your Future and she really liked the easiness to the video. You know, how, the, they were talking in the video, I believe it was one of Amanda's videos where she was talking about persistence and the intentions, you know, and your mental diet. So she realized, okay, well, this, this seems simple. Let me give this a try because it doesn't seem as excessive as everything else that she was learning. So she started to put in practice her intentions and then she put in practice the, um, the mental diet. And she was feeling better about herself to where she was really gaining the confidence, like really realizing that this could potentially work for her. Um, so, so a couple of months passed and she starts feeling like there's something missing, like what isn't, because even though she was feeling better, there was still uh, a certain doubt within her mind that was really persistent too. You know, so it kind of created this contradiction to her feeling good, but then she was feeling doubtful. And, you know, it was just like very confusing time for her. So she decided to book a session and she booked a session with me. And 
what we realized was that um, I asked her a couple of questions so we could identify the blocks. And one of the things that you know I asked her was, tell me about how you created these patterns in your relationship. So one of the things that I noticed was that in every, every relationship that she was in, she was always giving excessively and she was always doing a lot because there was a point in the relationship that she felt the fear of losing um, the relationship or the person, right? And so she would go out of her way to actually be more or, you know, be something who she's not in order to, uh, because that was the idea, like, you know, I have to be somebody else in order for them to like me, which is not true. Um, so then we started to go a little bit back and we realized that there was a block that started from childhood. The block was that her father was very uh, hard on her. She felt that her father was really hard on her and she never felt good enough. So she was always trying to get his attention. She was always trying to please him. She was always trying to be, you know, this, um, you know, the perfect kid. And like her father just really never gave her the intention or, or the validation that she was seeking as a child. Therefore, every relationship that came after that, she was always doing the same and the same and the same, but it would not lead to anything because that's not who she is, you know? So um, we started to work with that. And the, the way we work with that is she really likes subliminals, you know, and she would have constantly listen to subliminals about how to get your SP or how to get the contact in, which, you know, they all work. I mean, you know, subliminals are, you know, this a repetition of things, the same way that you will repeat um, your, your intentions. Um, but the thing was that, you know, within her journey, she had to create a set of intentions or, or affirmations that were more in tune about her forgiving herself or thinking she has to be something other than herself in order to retain the things. So we started to work a lot with this sense of acceptance, of this accepting yourself. I accept myself, I value myself, I appreciate myself. Um, so uh, within that, we created a, a set of affirmations and then she, she downloaded a third party app and she created uh, a subliminal of that with, with the sound that, uh, that she liked. So she started to do that and she would actually go to sleep and listen to that every single night. She would wake up and say her intentions of her SP. And throughout the day, she would just say, you know, continue to work on affirmations of, of her feeling worthy, of her feeling enough, of her feeling accepting of herself. Because remember, like everyone is you pushed out. So you want to be those things that you want to receive. So if you want to feel committed, say, I am committed to myself. Therefore, others commit to me. I feel chosen, therefore I choose myself, therefore the world chooses me. You know, you could, so she started to work and it was really simple because it was really like, you know, working around the insecurity in order to build a confidence around it. So we worked together for like approximately three months before she got the contact, which, um, and it happened unexpectedly. But what was interesting was that the in the session that we had before the contact, she was telling me how happy she was feeling and how comfortable. And she even said something that was really interesting. She's like, I've gotten to a point where I don't even care whether I receive it or not. I just feel kind of good. Like, I really like how I feel. It just feels good to me, like, you know, because I'm seeing life in a completely different way because it, I just, I'm just excited about myself, you know, because she was starting to, uh, starting to become the affirmations of the acceptance of herself, the acceptance of her life, of her choosing herself and staying committed to herself. Um, so that's why, like, you know, that's how these affirmations, I am affirmations, were coming into fruition within herself. Um, and so then all of a sudden she gets a text message from her SP. They, they start to go back and forth. And, you know, he does mention, you know, I've actually been thinking about you a lot. And I've been thinking about what you said about you working on yourself. And I really think it's a very commendable thing. I hope you've discovered a lot of things. And she says, like, yeah, it's like, I actually feel better than ever. And, you know, I'm so excited about my life and I'm so excited about me. So that actually really drew in her SP to, like, be very curious and say, like, well, you want to, you know, let's talk. So what came after that was that, you know, a series of communication has come about. And now, are they still working on the commitment? Of course they are, because, you know, this, this didn't happen too long ago. But she's really accepting of how, 
you know, everything in life has its, you know, its steps, you know, its journey. And the same way that she had to go through her journey to discover a sense of balance in her life, now she's discovering how to stay true to herself and accept the relationship and the new version of her SP that she's now allowing herself to see. You know, um, so she's doing a great job and she is staying very, very calm and very, very focused. Um, so that brings me to a little topic that I want to talk about. And it's this, um, you not feeling burned out when it comes to your conscious manifestation. Okay. There has to be an ease to it. And I, I, I've said this in, in several of my videos, it's like this flow and this allowance, you know, you have to find what it is that you like and it, you feel comfortable. You can constantly be seeking uh, one technique after another, after another, after another, because what are you telling to the universe that whatever it is that you're doing is never enough. Therefore, you feel a sense of lack because you're constantly looking for something when it's all within you. Like honestly, everything is within you. It starts with you. So one of the things that I, that could help you in your journey is go go to your past and see how you're the patterns you've created and then create a very strong i am affirmation of how you could actually start becoming because you already hold that version of yourself but now remind yourself on day to day you know so i'll give you an example what do i think of myself so I could honestly say that I'm a very caring person. I'm a very patient person. And I'm also a very loving person. I, I you know, those are three things that I identify myself by, you know, and I don't, it's like, and I do remind myself of that, you know, I am loving, I am patient, you know, and I am caring, okay? Um, I also always say, I always get my desired yes. That's one of my favorite affirmations. and. It's been a while since I've gotten a no, I've been, you know, unless I want to hear a no, but you know, that's why I say my desired yes, because if I want a yes, I will get it, right? So as, you know, one of the things that I've been able to identify myself with those things and remind myself because in those moments where I feel lost or where I feel sad or doubtful, I'm not that person that is caring um, or, you know, lovable or, you know, giving myself my own yes. So then I remind myself of that. So that's why I ask you, like, you know, you create affirmations around what it is that you feel is missing or is something that you continuously have done or created a pattern around, you know, create an affirmation that will build the strength to know, yeah, that is not a part of me. This is a part of me because this is who I am. You know, that is, that's why I am affirmations are extremely powerful because it's a constant reminder of who you are or who you're becoming or who you wish to become. And remember that that version of you, is already within you. You just need to push it out. And how do you push it out by persisting on that, on that new version of you? The same way that you're persisting on the new version of your SP, you push out that version of you. And trust me, you're going to align and your relationship is going to be amazing it's going to be everlasting romantic absolutely everything that you desire okay so yeah work a lot with like i am affirmations i think it's very important uh and it's like a subliminals i mean i do believe that there is a strong power to subliminals i do believe that you do have to stay persistent to you know to a constant one to where it needs a repetition um you know but just make sure it's something that is in tune with you something that resonates with you if you could create your own go for it you know create a list of like um i always think like you know an empowerment affirmation which you put on repeat if you're sleeping is much more like you know beneficial because when you're, in, you're when you're consciously awake you know you're you're already intending for your SP or for your desires. So while your subconscious is, you know, awakened while you're asleep, you're feeding in positive affirmations about you and empowering you and like, you know, strengthening you. So when you wake up and say your intentions, you're already like, you know, feeling the force, you're feeling the power within you to say, like, yeah, like, you know, I intend my SP is going to contact me and going to be so loving and caring and affectionate, you know, and you believe it because throughout the entire night, you were reminding yourself 
how amazing and wonderful you are. So that's just an example of something that we do with a client. Now, you choose what is best for you. Remember, we all manifest differently. We all have a different journey. We all have different assumptions and different concepts. You start to identify what is yours, okay? So I hope this video does inspire you. And just know, you know, this person went two years without communication. You could do it as well. There is nothing that could ever stop your manifestation. You know, you could hold it. You could put it on hold but you could always keep on going and have it progress okay thank you so much for all the love and i'm so grateful for all of you i intend for you to have an amazing journey when it comes to your manifestation and anything that you desire comes to fruition immediately thank you so much